So, I like zombie things. Zombie movies, zombie video games, zombie TV show, anything to do with zombies and the undead and the infected. You know, that, that, like, that like genre of things has always been fun for me. But no matter what zombie thing I'm watching, I always have this moment when I'm watching the, the protagonists and the homies running around trying to survive and whatever. I always have this moment where I think to myself, why are they not wearing like good body armor? Because someone always gets bit on the arm when they're wearing a t-shirt and because zombies apparently all have super teeth, they bite right into it and the person's bit and then they have this whole thing, you know? And granted, everyone can't walk around in military armor for the whole show or movie because that's clunky and difficult and whatever. But I'm like, I feel like the solution is there, right? And by the solution, I mean leather. I don't know how I got to this conclusion, but for some reason, I just had this weird thought that biker gangs, <laughs> okay, <laughs> I know I'm stereotyping biker gangs, but I was like, biker gangs would probably survive. Not with the bikes because the bikes are too loud, but because of the leather. But of course, that leather is probably not as strong as I imagine it is. So when I say leather, I'm actually kind of thinking about old school cowboy leather, the kind of leather you get from like animals, like cows and deer and all that other stuff that, that is, is it called tanned? I don't remember, I don't know what it's called, but like the leather that, you know the how p people say like, when you kill an animal, you use the whole thing and they use the skin for like really strong, really tough leather. That's what I'm talking about. No matter how strong zombie teeth are, I have a hard time believing they'd be able to bite through some quality old school cowboy leather. And since in this world, there's not, you can't just go to Giant or whatever grocery store and just grab meat. Everyone has to basically kill their own animals to get any meat. You kill the animal, you use every part of it, including the skin. So you take the skin, use the skin for clothing and boom there you go well nice fitted armor that allows you to still move around but it's tough enough that vampire teeth can't get through am i wrong about this am i overestimating the the power of, of leather but i just in my head, if you want to survive an old zombie horror movie, you have to take a note from the old school cowboys, from the old school um, indigenous folk, from uh, biker gangs. You have to take what, because I'm assuming that the leather isn't just for show and it is actually serving a purpose. Why can't the purpose be protecting me from that? Uh, not vampire. We're, uh, not werewolves. Jeez. <laughs> zombie bites. Where is the zombie movie where everyone is walking around like they just got off the set of The Matrix or the Resident Evil movies, not not the not the more recent ones, the old school ones that had nothing to do with the game, which is always interesting to me because I'm like, you have a perfectly good story sitting right there. Why don't you just adapt it? But then again, I think rather than watching an actual Resident Evil movie, I honestly get just as much pleasure just from watching the Resident Evil timeline videos on YouTube. It's like watching a movie right there because especially with the remake of all the games where the graphics look really good it's like a really nice updated movie it's a good time the resident evil storyline is phenomenal i will never play those games because i'm a punk i don't do scary games i tried playing the demo for resident evil 2 for resident evil 2 i punked out i did immediately i barely got i didn't even do anything really before i was like nope this is too much i'm scared and i just closed the game but i love the story and I've, i know the story by heart and i've heard it lore videos and timeline videos of it forever but that i digress I, like incredibly i digress but the resident evil movies like with um mila jovovich is that her name the the white lady who's always naked for some reason in that who was always naked in that period of time she was also in um seven cents they're all dressed in leather they got the leather trench coats which i don't think would be practical for the zombie apocalypse but they got the leather trench coats they got the leather pants they've got the leather boots they've got the leather leather um like jackets like the real tight ones they look comfortable well they look i don't know if they're actually comfortable but they look comfortable they look like they don't have any problem fighting they're doing flips they're kicking dogs they're doing all kinds of nonsense in those in those leather clothing so grab that 
aesthetic from the Resident Evil games and from Matrix and just put it over the Walking Dead type shit or um, that 24 shit. What was it? 25 days? Let me look it up. I, I have the power of editing. I can do whatever I want. 28 days later, Day of the Dead, sh fuck Shaun of the Dead even, just anyone who's who's interacting with or fighting zombies, give them a nice leather outfit and let's see what happens. Because I just get the feeling that cotton and wool just aren't cutting it and neither is and neither is polyester. I, they're not doing it. I've seen too many people get bitten right through their clothes, right through their... Oh, and if you're going to do jeans, don't do that shitty legging jeans. They suck. You got to get the thick old school construction jeans. I feel like those could probably hold up really well as well. You know, don't do any of the dumb stuff. Get the nice thick fabric. Grab a bunch of leather, stock up, put in your little survival kits and that. And then when that happens, just swap outfits real quick and, and get going. The zombies will not be able to like bite through you, at least not the first time. They might like try the first time and that one initial bite, they'll be hanging off your arm. Just stab them real quick and boom, you've taken care of it. They're dead because they were stuck because they couldn't get through your leather armaments. Yeah. <laughs> If they come out, if you get swarmed, you get bitten somewhere, like on your face or something, then you're fucked. And that was that was your fault. You fucked up. But if you're able to survive that first initial bite, you're welcome. I did that for you. If you hadn't thought of it yourself. Also, just in general, I am personally looking forward to the leather comeback. Because you know how fashion just does that thing where it just keeps coming back? I am very much excited for the next round of leather. Corsets came back for a bit big ass skirts came back i think for a bit right now i think we're dealing with the um the fucking low riders which those anything in the early 2000s frankly should stay there i'm perfectly fine with the 90s fashion coming back but early 2000s should have burnt it all that was a that was a disaster that was a mess that was just filthy but now that's coming back and it's gross and i hate it but i'm personally looking forward to leather coming back leather makes your ass look fantastic if you know what you're doing and it's just i don't know i'm really into leather right now i have no reason why i'm into leather but i'm looking forward to its comeback and i'm calling it it's gonna have a comeback and hopefully it'll come back before the zombie apocalypse so i have time to stock up and you should probably get on that too so i finished editing and i was thinking about one of my other apocalypse solution type things so when everyone goes out looking for resources hunter gatherer type stuff everyone's breaking into pharmacies and grocery stores and and just stealing whatever they can and everyone is like oh what are you gonna steal and it's like oh water food whatever i always tell my friends that i'm also going to steal condoms here's why could you imagine having a whole baby during the apocalypse now granted condoms won't last forever but for as long as they're going to last a good number of them last a few years let's stock up let's have that while we sort out a another solution right because here's the thing who was really trying to raise a child during the apocalypse i get that the walking dead did it and a pro a few other shows might have probably done it too uh, good for them i guess but like no that's a nightmare. Who's really trying to sit here and deal with a crying baby during the apocalypse? People are going to fuck. That's a reality. We can't help that, okay? Humans, you put them together, they're going to find a way to have an orgasm, even in the middle of a crisis, because that's going to be their, oh my gosh, I just survived a oh, crazy vampire. Vampire? Why do I keep saying vampire? <laughs> Maybe because I am one. <laughs> Anyways, they're going to be like, oh my gosh, I just survived a terrible zombie attack. I'm so stressed out and freaking out and stuff. Person over there, you want to go to my tent to release some of this pent up stress? And they're not going to be thinking long distance, right? They're going to be thinking in that moment. And in that moment, they want to have an orgasm to release all that pent up stress. That That's how we get fucked up. Because someone decides to do that. Next thing you know, nine fucking not even nine months, a few months down the line, everybody is like crowding around one person because she's got a giant belly and she's got a baby in it. And you know how babies are. The same way with cats. You just want to protect them, even if it means risking your life. So yeah, in my group, in my little squad, we're not doing that mess, okay? We're not doing that mess. When we go out looking for resources, we're getting condoms. And everyone's gonna have a few just in their pocket <laughs> because I refuse to be responsible for your mistakes. So yeah, you wanna survive the zombie apocalypse, leather fabric everywhere, leather clothing, leather pants, leather shirts, leather everything, and 
condoms condoms everywhere to stop the pregnancy we're protecting from bites and we're protecting from babies bites and babies bites and babies this is what we're doing this is how you survive you're welcome for some people it might seem weird some people might seem crazy but i'm telling you it's the little things the little things pay attention to the little things and you'll survive longer neglect little things and you'll die faster and the little things are protecting your limbs and protecting your ovaries I really should come up with an outro for these.